Okay, so welcome back, and we are unfortunately trapped up here because there's a ton of zombies in this room, so let's just mow them down, and then we will move on. I promise! Once this guy comes here... Oh, oh god, your freaking helmet head! Freaking helmet head! This guy actually doesn't seem too, too evil, but... Can't judge a book by its cover, yo. Since there's one more guy. Where are you? Where are you, you demon? Have to do this. Stop running. All right, I let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. What a fight! Fight to the death. Now, hopefully, no one wakes him up because that would that would suck. Combat rifle ammo. I don't have a combat rifle. Whatever. All right, this 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 is the security system, so we should be able to hack into this. We don't know the password, unfortunately, but hopefully the hack isn't too difficult. Security rating five. Oh, great! It is too difficult. Okay. Huh. Right. Wait, hang on, I need to capture this, and that, and that. God damn, that's too much. Alright, we're going to need to know the password. We are going to need the password for this computer. Kathies, or something. I don't I don't entirely know what that says. Kathies. Alright, let's find out. Kathies. Password. Deus Ex. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. I guess it's Kathy S. Kathy S. First name Kathy. No, first name uh, beginning with S and second name Kathy, I guess. Password is missing me. But with things spelt weirdly. Okay, here we go. Missing me. There we go. Alright, let's get these robots to kill the enemies. Oh look, we found Target! There he is. Target, we found you! How's it going? Alright then. Okay, so we're gonna head towards that way because we want to find Target. So this actually is the right way to find him, by the sounds of it. Got these robots over here. Whoa, what's this guy? Look at this guy. Plasma capsule. Hang on, I need to go back and check the... The security guys for ammo because they do tend to be carrying ammo with them. Assault combat rifle though, which I don't have. God damn, dude. God damn it, man. That's just ugh. Tag it, we're coming. I hope you don't mind. Hope you're okay with being saved by me. Bad grab. Come on now. What? Move it. Oh, there's a robot. No robots on my side now, so we're okay. Target you here? Alright, I'm not gonna take that lift just in case he's not that way. Let's go back through here. Ah, there's a door. Oh, there he is. Security rating 5, are you serious? Hey, let me in. I'm here to save you. I can't hack this. Holy crap. Um. Target? Do you wanna let me in? <laughs> Please? I don't know how to get in. You didn't tell me what the password was. Is there a secret sneaky area to get in? Is there though? I don't think so. Can't go up here somewhere and find a vent, no? Well, I guess I have to look up the code for this one because five is a little bit too tough for us. Just a tiny bit. Maybe we can knock on the door and be like, open it, bitch. Yo, I'm, I literally just killed everyone. You don't look injured at all. You lied. You lied to me. Oh, man. Okay, how do we get in here? What is the code? Anyone want to hazard a guess? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, my, my throat is uh, dying suddenly. I don't know what's going on. Oh, 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 what's going on? I had a bit of a sore throat the last couple of days. I actually think I accidentally cut my throat, which was pretty pretty bad. Okay, if you go straight down the vent. Oh, there is a vent. Oh. Is there no password? If you go straight down the vent, you will reach the ladder that will drop you straight into Taggart's room. Oh. I guess I went the hard way. But... Hmm. Maybe there is no password. Deus Ex passcodes. Let's look up that. Hey, yes. Maybe I can use... I don't know how I use the worm software and stuff, actually. I should probably find that out at some point. 
What is the passcode? Does anybody know? I'm just gonna stare at the keyboard as if I might understand it at some point. That seems like the sensible thing to do. <laughs> Not at all. I guess that we can just keep looking it up on such mobile devices such as a mobile phone. Alice Garden Pods we have done and been and gone. Hang Sha we've done. Taiyang Medical we've done. Piscus. Uh, we've done all this. We are very far into this game now. Okay, which which of these is gonna be? I I don't I don't I don't know. What the hell? Um, maybe there is no password to it. I guess we could just try some passwords and see if they get us in. What floor are we on? That's a good start. We are on floor two, number two. Okay, so anything on floor two we can try. Nope, okay. Maybe we can just go through every single password and see if it works. Nope. Uh, this is not going to go well, is it? I hope it doesn't just lock me out at some point. Oh, we did it. Nice. Let me in. Yo, we made it. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation. Rules governing how the technology is developed and laws that ensure it's used for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like, like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropazine supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. Oh, god damn. God damn it, Taggart. I came to save you. I didn't came to... Ugh, ugh. Uh, rub it in my face. Oh well, let's go finish our mission then. We'll see. We gotta find out what this Hydra project is first. You seem to be unaffected by the signal that Daryl is broadcasting. I suppose that is a military adaptation? Maybe, but we didn't upgrade the chip. Get well. away! Just get away! I saw what you people did. You killed them all! You even killed each other! Say that again, bitch, and I'll take you down. I'll put you out of your misery. Alright, well, you guys have been saved by the one and only Mr. Jensen. I will take my money and leave. I will take my money and leave. Give me my money. Ugh. All right, I'm I'm going. Two hundred and fifty. Seems like not a lot, but okay. All right, so we're gonna take this lift down here now. Really don't know where this goes. Oh no, never mind. We're not gonna take this lift because it's not a lift. Huh? Huh? Oh, there's a vent. Oh, I guess we could have used that vent to get into his room. Well, dang, I didn't see that coming. Whatever. He hacked into it anyway. Yo, robot, how's it going? You look like a dog. It kind of is a dog, I guess. All right, so now we gotta go downwards, well, upwards and then downwards again. We gotta take the other route and try and get 
to whatever the thing is that we're trying to get to. Can I just jump here? Yeah, it should be fine. Oh, nice. Uh, I assume this is where we don't want to be because, yeah. Okay, there's a ladder. Oh, can we jump down this pit? Shall I do it? <laughs> Freaking YOLO, man. Alright, let's do it. Except it doesn't really want us to go that far down, does it? Hang on a sec. No, it does not. It wants us to go upwards. Alright, then. We'll go up first. I would do it, but I'm like, uh, I don't know if that's right, honestly. Wait, where does it want me to go? Oh, okay. Is anybody there? Can you hear me? I've got survivors here. We've locked ourselves in a machine room. Please! Help us! Oh, we got Seraph. All right, then. Seraph, I'm coming. I save you, buddy. I save your lord and master. But you gotta explain to me what the hell you've been doing and what the truth is here. Alright, we're gonna need this heavy rifle, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it's lying on the floor for a reason. So let's let's get rid of some of this. Get rid of this. Is that gonna be enough? No. I'm gonna need the whole row, aren't I? It might be three, to be honest. Eh, uh, let's get rid of this, I guess. Oh no, hang on. Can we not just combine these? There we go. I want to see. Oh, hang on. Oh, what? I have to put this one down again? I guess they don't stack that much. Alright. We can't pick up any ammo for it, though, because we don't have room. I honestly don't need half the stuff I have. Let's get rid of... I can drop combat ammo, or should I drop pulse rifle? I guess get rid of these. They're probably less useful. Whoa, how big is the ammo? What the heck? Okay. I did not think that was a thing. Really? We still can't use that. Okay. Laser. Oh, hang on. What did I drop before? I, I should keep the plasma capsules since I still have a plasma weapon. Um, I guess we can drop this. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it gives you health. Only a temporary increase, though. Get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Got some heavy rifle. Well, that room looks contaminated and evil, but luckily... Oh, God. All right, this is why we got the freaking giant rifle gun. All right, then. Okay, then. I got I have a gas grenade, don't I? That would be useful as well. All right, then. <laughs> die, bitches. All of you die. Oh, they didn't, they didn't even get all of them. Alright, come at me. Come at me, bros. I mean, I'm invincible, so... Oh god, it ran out. Okay. Really? How tanky is this guy? Alright, get out of here. I don't want to have to do this either, but I do have to. Alright, this gun is not working as well as I thought it was going to work. This sucks. Man, why are there so many people? I don't really want to use this. I feel like a sniper isn't the right thing to use either. I guess we'll use this. Oh my god, and there's a thing in... Alright, okay. Okay, then. I'm just going to turn around. Try and get in this room, I suppose. Yeah, there's some kind of security terminal there, so that would be useful to get into. Alright, let's go into this room. Luckily, we are gas you can go. I'm pretty sure I'm gas proof anyway. Uh, do we know the password here or do we need to hack it? Security rating 4 is quite high actually. Oh, gas grenade again, that's good. More heavy rifle ammo. Okay. Let's just find out what the password is for this. Same way as always, R. Simmons. What is the password to R. Simmons' computer? We will find out next time. No, on Dragon Ball Z. I'm not going anywhere though, friends. Lie. Freaking Jensen, stop breathing so heavily. I guess he has some kind of thing that he uses. Well, that sucks. Deus. X. God damn, Jensen, stop. <laughs> stop it. And the breathing sound is so annoying. So annoying. Stop it, Jensen. Stop it at once. Everything must stop. Everything. Simmons. 
Oh, what the hell? Why can't I find someone's password? What is this? What is this? Try the IGN side then. Come on, IGN. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh, it let me down, boys. I guess I'm spelling it wrong. Let's find on page. Ah, oh, sin. Nope. What is this? I guess we might have to try and hack it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Alright, we're we'll trying to hack it then. Maybe it doesn't have a password. That sucks. This would make things a lot easier. So, I'd rather not fail. How do we use a nuke virus software anyway? There must be a way, right? Pretty sure there should be a way somehow. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, so we want to go to that one and we want to go down to that one. So we've got to get this one. Uh, can we do this? Maybe. Yeah, I think we got this. Access granted. Nice, nice. Alright. Okay, you need to kill the enemies. Alright. That should make life a bit easier. Get out of here. Oh, well, they all died instantly? Okay. <laughs> Good job, turrets. I knew you could do it. Holy moly. Alright, kill him, please. Uh, we need to check this guy. Whoa, what? Is oh. What? Wait, 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 wait. The, the poison gas didn't kill them. I thought it killed you. I didn't realize it put you to sleep. Oh, okay then. Get him, turret. <laughs> nice. That's right, you all dead. You all die. You all die now. Crazy workers. Food hardy workers. All of you. Alright, Seraph, we've made it to you finally. You, are you here, Seraph, or not? Where are you? Wait, the mission is to find Seraph, right? I am going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, how do I even look at my missions? I don't even know. Oh, it's this one. No, it's not this one. This one? This one? This one? This one? Oh, no, I missed Seraph. Oh. Okay, I'm going to turn around and find Seraph first. I want to save my boss. I, I still have a weird feeling about him, but I'm sure he's just, you know, evil. <laughs> Only evil, nothing else. He'll tell me some stuff as well, and we probably won't do it, but yeah. Let's go find Seraph then. So that's this is actually where we need to go if we want to progress, but we don't want to progress just yet. Not just yet. Okay. So I guess he's down the side. Maybe there's another thing down here? No. Where are you, Seraph? Where the hell are you? He said he was in a room somewhere. It's very vague. Hmm. This is what we learned about him here, though, didn't we? Oh, maybe he's down this way. But there's like no threat here. There's also an elevator. Okay, we'll take the elevator. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Got my revolver, though. Make I could swap to my pistol soon, but we won't for now. Oh, there's people here. Alright then. Okay then. Any day now, elevator. Show me your moves. I don't know if this is the end of the game. I feel like it very well, maybe. Alright. Let's see if I can get millions of things around me at once and then blow them all up at the same time. Uh, it looks like we're going to get attacked as soon as we open these doors. Didn't die. Hey, these guys just don't give a damn. They just don't care. Now they care. Ha <laughs> ha. Do you really not carry? <sighs> no one carries ammo. How how disappointing. Why are they only alarmed for a certain amount of time? It's not like these zombies should just run at you. Where are you? What are you doing? Go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're the one. It's your fault. Ow. Oh, I go. Go, it. All right, we have one shot left. Make sure it counts. We actually have three shots left. Don't you see? All right, we have enough to kill this one guy when he comes running through the door. Just let me explain. Oh god, no, we don't have enough now. All right, he got tired. He got a bit tired. 
I want to use this. Right, you better be down here, Zeref. Zeref. I'm using all my ammo. All of it. It doesn't. Oh, lockers. And maybe ammo. Freaking stop giving me assault gun ammo. Stop it. What's this? Oh, they gave me a login. The password is forgotten. Forgotten what? The password? <laughs> Alright, let's try going down here. Okay. So we just need to go straight to that one. Go, go, go. Come on, dude, hurry. No, we can't win this one. It's too fast. Oh, man, it was close. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, well, we got a pistol out. Oh, hang on, this guy's a security guard. He may have a pistol out. No. No. Alright, Sarah, where the hell are you? Can I go swimming? Pretty sure you can't do that. Okay. Sarah! Run this way. Sarah! What the heck? This is a long corridor. Okay. Oh god! Oh, this is. You could have jumped down here. What are you doing? Noise. OP! Get out of town! That's what I thought about. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, so this is the bit we could have jumped down earlier. I potentially should have done, I guess. So I guess Seraph is through that locked door on the other side. Since where we need to go is up above. Although I imagine there's multiple routes to get there, so maybe you can get there going this way as well. Which wouldn't surprise me at all. It's pretty pretty standard stuff, I guess. Alright, let's go this way then. Security... Sounds like a mine, if ever I've heard one. Yeah, it's mine on the floor right there. Okay, well, we'll ignore the mines and go through this place instead. Hacky Tam! Okay, then. God damn it. Go here. Go here. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Access to God damn. God damn. Alright, through the mines then. Through the frickin' mines. Oh, there's actually people in that room there. Any passcode on here? Maybe. That actually may be the code for this door here. But it's going to be locked for a while, isn't it? Yes, it is the code for there. Okay, then. Well, that's useful. Right, we need to get this out of the way. Sounds like there's someone in here anyway. I'm coming in! I am the evil guy. I don't know. I feel like my morals are kind of broken. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, Seraph, we found you. It's about damn time. How's it going? Adam! Oh, thank God you came. I've got wounded here. We'll have to move them first. We can't move anyone yet. Not until I get to the base of the station and shut down Darrow's broadcast. What? Why? The chaos you experienced here? It's everywhere. The Illuminati created a biochip that stops people from using enhanced abilities. And Darrow turned it into a kill switch. Oh my god, you... We gotta fix this, Adam. If people realize what's happened, if they believe augmentation technology created this chaos, they'll ban human enhancement research forever. And that would be a bad thing. Yes, it would! Don't you see what's at stake here? All the money! Ever since man first crawled out of that ocean, we've been striving to be more than we are. Augmentation technology is just the latest, greatest step on a very long road. But we've barely scratched the surface of its potential. We can't let fear stop us from continuing. That's your belief, Seraph. Not everyone shares it. But you do, Adam. I know it. And if we work together, we can really make a difference. We can improve the lives of everyone, but only if we fix this. Go on. We'd have to get a message out. After you shut down Hugh's signal. Tell the world. Tell them the Humanity Front did this. That their doctors created a virus that only affects augmented people. You mean lie. 
Uh, it'll give us time, son. Time to figure out how to destroy the Illuminati's biochips and move on. And what about the people who've been hurt by this? Don't they deserve the truth? I had them. If we want the freedom to become more than we are, we can't be blinded by a misguided morality. Some people will be left behind. It's reality. It's evolution, son. Right. Evolution based on my DNA. Please, son, you have to stay with me on this. I'll think about it. Uh, no. <laughs> Screw you, Sarah. Do I'm a good guy. Are. What happened to that? You're I was Sarah. so scared. I heard two of them coming around the corner, tearing. How could Daryl turn his back on us? Dropped to the floor this technology was his baby. It was his passion that made me believe in its possibilities. All right, whatever, guys. Why? Why would Hugh Daryl do such a thing? Because he can. Be gained he's by got causing power. So much pain and terror. All right, well we're out of this. There actually was a way of sneaking into this room, I guess, through events somewhere. You imagine it's around here, but I'm not entirely sure where. Maybe it's in here. For now, let's get through here. So nine, eight, two, three. Let me in. Oh great, more mines. You just love mines. Did I just blow the door off? That's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Pretty sure there was a door there, right? Maybe there wasn't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I wanted it to blow the doors off, who knows? Who actually does know? Oh, okay, we picked up some more ammo. And this should be the other side of the thing. So we can now go back up the elevator we came down. And I imagine from there we can just go straight down and deal with whatever the hydrophobia mogloggy thingy is. I can't even remember what it was called. Uh, human. Yeah, it's probably not the human. But you never know. I mean, that would be kind of, I guess. I don't know if you're taking... Never mind. Let's, let's, not, let's not go on that same tangent. because uh, We get over into weird territory. Okay, so we've already cleared the path, so it's just a case of running down there. A bit of traversing, but that's okay. We got our trusty pistol with 40 ammo. That should be enough to take down any enemy that may come our way. We've also got a few typhoon ammos, so that's good. I guess we have to make our decision whether to side with Seraph or the human front, but I feel like the truth is better, especially when the humanity front actually do want a little bit of augmentation. But, yes, it's true at the same time that well, I don't know if people are going to accept the fact that this is this is kind of the travesty that happened, and it's hard to see a future from here with augmentations in it. I guess like, in this world, especially. I mean, when there's such a travesty like this, people are never going to trust it again. But at the same time, there are people that are already augmented, like Adam himself. That if they are to survive in the in the world, they're going to need these kind of augmentation research facilities to keep going. So it's, a, it's an interesting one, but. I don't feel like Sarah's way of lying is correct. So we're gonna save it quickly because I don't know what's gonna happen down here and I don't wanna make the wrong decision. Let's do it. Oh, I didn't I didn't see what the warning said. Oh! Probably saying this at the end of the game, so be careful. I was like, oh, Daisy, I probably should have done something. All right, let's have a look at the view. How far down are we gonna go? Can we just jump? We have those stabilizer things. And so he traveled. Warning. There is a no face person with a hat on. He might come and eat you. He does that. He's not very nice. Man. He eats you. Freaking slender man. How is this? Oh, it's, it's like one of those lift the wheels on the sides. This is. Uh, I don't actually know if you have real lifts like this in real life. I feel like it's a lot more dangerous than having a string attached to the top. Whoa. Whoa, that's quite a nice view as well. Did you know? general in general lifts have like a string on top it's like a pulley system that pulls you up and down whereas this one is it's got wheels on the bottom i suppose the bottoms here 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 and they kind of work like clogs to take you down i'm not entirely sure how safe that is i feel like it's a lot safer to have those pulley systems there in place because if, if something does go wrong with the motor and the pulley system at least you're being suspended whereas wheels just kind of if something if the brakes fail you fall die horribly oh looks like we made up made it all right then I don't even know if we have time to do this. This could very well be the end of the game. Maybe I should just stop right now. In fact, I get... Oh, hang on. There's a big gun, so I guess there's a battle coming up. Alright, then. Do you have any ammo on you guys? Guys? Energy boosts? She has a freaking... You hoarder! Look at this! She's... Oh, there's only one big box worth, but it's still quite a, quite a bit. Painkillers. Yeah, so I imagine there's a big battle coming up, but... We will do that next time. Thank you very much for joining me on this one. Until then, good night.